Hey guys. Hey Gombo. Did you get the new video game you wanted? No. I forgot where I put my money. I looked everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. Oh no. It looks like you need a coin bank. That would be a great idea. If I could remember where I put my money to buy one. Hmm. I see your problem. Hey. How about you build a DIY coin bank out of cardboard? No! Oh, that could totally work! Thanks, Ryan! You're welcome, Combo. I'm gonna get started so I can start saving all the money to buy all the video games! See you later! Welcome to Ryan's world! Okay, so I go here, then if I do this, and then if I do that, and I do that, Huh, I might have to rethink this. Hey, Bree! Hmm, that sounds like the Bree I need something combo voice. That is correct, because I'm in desperate need of a coin bank to safely store all my money in. A DIY coin bank? Yeah, we could definitely build something like that. Plus, I already finished what I was working on anyways, so we could get started right now. We going to have to be a uh, you because I uh, still need to find where I last put my money. Where your money's at? Who doesn't know where their money is? Gotta go! Oh well, we should get started with supplies. Now the supplies for our build are actually pretty basic. All we're gonna need is cardboard, some dowels, hot glue, and this pen. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's get to building. We are gonna start by sketching out the basic shape for our coin bank. Next step, cut it all out. Next, we're going to work on our coin slot. Let's draw the design and cut it out. Now we have all of our basic pieces cut out, which are our top and bottom, our sides, our front and back, and our coin slide, which we are going to glue together right now. Now remember kids, when using things like hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. Now that our slide is good and dry, it's time to figure out where it's gonna go on our coin bank. So we're gonna fit it in place right about there, and then we're going to trace it out. So now it's marked, it's cut, and it's popped out. That looks like the perfect fit. So now that everything fits perfectly, it's time to secure it into place with the dowel. Now this is going to act as a pivot point so that our slide will stay nice and secure, but have movement. It's super important to make sure that our dowel is carefully threaded through the center of both of our pieces. Looking good. Starting with the bottom of our coin bank, we are running a big bead of hot glue and attaching our front. Now just holding it in place until it dries at a perfect 90 degrees. Now we're gonna glue in our first sidewall. We are going to use lots of hot glue because we want it to be good and strong. Now we just have to line it up perfectly and wait for it to dry. So we punched a hole in our top for our dowel to go through. Now let's put our top on the top, slide our dowel through, and it should sit right at the end of our slide. So when pushed down, it'll trigger our slide. Now that everything fits, let's Glue it into place. Now that the glue is dry, let's check out how this coin bank operates. First, we're gonna put our coin at the tip of the slide. Then we're going to push down, causing our slide to tilt, and boom, the coin lands in the bank nice and safe. Now, the next step is going to be to trim this down and make a nice press button. Now our press button has to be big enough for Combo's big old panda paws. We also have to remember that Combo mashes buttons all day playing video games, so we have to make this button super strong. This is why we are making it out of two pieces of cardboard, a flexible binding, and lots and lots of hot glue. Now that we have our top button made, we are going to use this pin. Well, part of it. We're actually going to disassemble the pin and use 
the spring. Now the spring is actually going to be the spring for the top of our mechanism. Let's get to work. Now that it's all glued together and working, it's time to finish it out first by adding the sidewall. Now the final part of our build is our back plate. But we're going to have to install some type of locking mechanism here to keep the money nice and secure. Speaking of combos money, I wonder how the search is going. Let's see. Retracing my last steps. I did have a snack a little while ago. Aw, oh, nope. Nothing in here. Maybe I left it in here for safekeeping. Ugh. Nothing. Over here? Nope, nada. What would past combo do? What about here? Oh, this is hopeless. Oh well, back to the build. Our locking mechanism is styled after the traditional combination lock, which I thought was pretty fitting considering who this build is for. In case you didn't know, Combo Panda's full name is Combination Panda. Combination Panda, Combination Lock. The back panel is ready to go with the hatch cut in, which will allow us to access the money. Now it's time to assemble our lock, starting with the combination dial, which we will attach by running a dowel through the center of the dial and the center of the hatch. We are securing it in place with hot glue and an end cap. Next step is to thread the spacer through the dowel on the inside of the hatch, followed by the locking mechanism, which we'll add some glue to to secure it. And it's time to install the catch, which is just a small dowel and a whole bunch of glue. Now that we have our back panel with our locking mechanism built, it's time to glue it all in place. Now the very important thing about this is that we don't get any glue on the bottom half so that it stays free to lock and unlock as needed. So we're only gonna glue in the top portion. Now that it's all put together, let's watch it work. So we're gonna put our money on the slide, push the button down, and it's in there for safekeeping until we need it. Then we just enter the super secret code and voila. It works, right? But I feel like it's a little bit unfinished. It definitely needs some decoration, but what would Combo like? I have an idea. I know somebody that's perfect. She can help. Hi, Coco. Oh, hey, Bree. What's up? Well, I'm making something for your brother and I really want to decorate it, but I'm not sure what he likes. Oh, I know. You should make it look like his favorite thing in the whole world. <gasps> really? That's perfect. What's that? Himself. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure he'll love it. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Well, looks like we're turning this coin bank into a combo coin bank. We should probably start with some ears. To make this coin bank look like combo, we need two ears, two headphones, and his signature hairstyle. Then we're gonna give it that signature white and black paint job with a pop of red and a tiny pop of yellow. All that's left is the face and voila, coin bank de combo. And it looks just like combo. Did somebody say combo? Yeah, actually, I just did. That is some crazy timing because I just finished the DIY coin bank. What do you think? Wow, it's amazing, incredible, combo bunga! That looks just like me. I love it. Best coin bank ever. Wow, uh, she really nailed that one on the head. It's perfect because I finally found my money. Oh, awesome. So? Should we test it out? Yeah, absolutely we should. All right, let's do it. Combo bunga, it's perfect. But, uh, how exactly do I get my money back out? So the back actually stays locked up and nice and secure until you enter the nice secret code and 
Awesome! I've got to show it to Ryan! Thanks, Bray! Oh, uh, okay, well, I guess I'll start packing your money up so that it stays nice and secure. Hey, Gombo, where's your coin bag? So, what do you think? Wow, Gombo, it looks so good. You'll be able to save up for that game in no time. That game and plenty more to come! All the games! Hi, Ryan and Daddy! Hi, Hi Mommy! What are we going to make today? A coin sorter! Yes, yeah, so we're going to make a do-it-yourself coin sorter out of cardboard here. Ryan has been practicing his money and learning all about money. All right, Ryan, let's see if Ryan remembers the value of money. Okay, what about this? What is Penny? this, Ryan? Penny? Uh-huh, what's Nickel? this? Nickel? Dime? Quarter, half dollar. Ooh. How many cents is this? How many one cents is the penny? One cent. Uh huh. How many cents is the nickel? Five cents. How many cents, cents is, is dime? The dime. Uh, ten cents. What about quarter? Twenty-five cents. Half dollar. Fifty cents. Good job! Good job. Oh, yeah. And he also have a piggy bank here that he's been saving over the years with real money. And we're gonna try to sort it out once we make this to see if it works with pretend play money and let's see if it works with real money. You think it's gonna work? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's test it out. So, so, so far, we made this. So all it is so far is we cut two equal pieces here and glue it like this and make an L shape on the side to glue it like this. So it's pretty simple so I far. So the coin sorter, we're gonna just use the basic one for us to learn here. So here again, we have the penny, and then this is the nickel, and then that's the dime, and that's the quarter. The first step is to make a side of the sorter. So this one, I just have to hot glue it. This, okay. So the hot glue, it's very hot, so you have to make sure you do it, you ask your parents to do it. Make something like this to separate the coins. Yeah, so all we have is just another rectangular piece and a little L shape like this. We also have a third one here that will go right here. Yeah, so what it's gonna do is that way we can separate the four coins into different compartments. See, do you see Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> I'll glue this part. Ha ha ha, be careful not touch this. Ah, ah, string, sticky. Oh. Okay, put it here. Just press it a little bit. Yeah. You just have to wait until it cool down. Yeah. That's done! Yay! One fast? Yeah. You know how to put it? Yeah, like that. That one goes like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, like this. Like this. Yeah. yeah. That way the coins can go down. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Do you get it? Whoop. <laughs> yeah, we we can, probably need a stopper here. Yeah. We can get money whenever we want to. Dun, dun. Moment of the truth. Put it here. Does it fit? Alright, good. Yay. Perfect. <laughs> so we draw these three holes. This is sewing out the coins. Let me take it out. We pre-punch it so it's easier. Put a lot of dust. <laughs> Mostly easy. You see one is small, the other one's a little bit bigger, and the third one's the biggest. That's how you sort out the coins. There you go. Oh. Now this goes like this. It's for the size, so that's have to be penny, right? That's right. All right, before we glue it on, we have to make a size so the coin wouldn't fall off. Oh. So let's do this. Hot, hot, hot. So this is one side. It goes here. All right, so this is the second one. <laughs> there you go, it goes here. See? Yeah, it looks like a ladder. Now this goes like this, like this. Yay! Do you see Ryan? Yeah, it 
kind of looks like one right now. Really like this. Did you glue over here? No, just a side. I think side is good enough. Alright. Let's test it out. Alright. Which one do you want to try? Is that one? Okay. Whee! Yay! It worked! It's sliding down into the hole. Uh oh. Yay! Let's try this one. Yay! Yay! So you see how it keeps falling out? So we actually need a stopper here to block it from falling out. <laughs> Alright, let's do this stopper at the bottom. Alright. Put the stopper. Alright, now that we got the stopper there, let's see that it stops it. Yay! Yay! It worked! Good job, All you right. guys! All right, so all we need left is some few more pieces. We're gonna just build a little bit more, okay? We finished it! Okay, here's our final product. Okay, so all we did extra here is to add the side here and the top here, and we also cut a little slot here to put in the money, so the money goes in there. Whoa. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Let's see, test it out. Hey, does it work? Yay! Yay! I'm gonna do time! See? Yay, Yay, it worked! Next, I'm gonna do nickel! Yay, it worked! Yay! Yay. I'm gonna do quarter! Yay, Yay. it worked! Good job, we did Yay. it! <laughs> We're gonna put more coins! Alright! What are you putting next? Penny? Penny? Good. Penny? Yeah, it's working. All the pennies going there. Penny? Yay! Penny? Oh. He <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> All the pennies. Penny? Oh. Penny? Yay! Quarter? 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 Quarter. Quarter. Next, I'm gonna do the dime. 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 Yay! Yay. Our sorter is working out. Dime. Yay. Yay! Dime. Yay! All right. So what we did here is we even put the place value, so that, that way it's easier for Ryan to remember. And we can even put money on it too. So there you go. Dime yeah. goes there. One cent goes there. And penny. Penny goes there, yeah. Five cents goes there, which is nickel. And quarter yeah. goes there for 25 cents. Oh, cool. Cool. Let's test out the nickel. Yay! 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 Yay. Yay. Yay! Yay! Yay. 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 Sometimes it gets stuck, but it's working really good. <laughs> Yay! Now here's the ultimate test, you guys. What is it? To see if real money works. <laughs> We're gonna take out some money from Ryan's piggy bank. Penny. This is pretty old. <laughs> All right, first we are going to try the penny. If it works. Try this one. Yay! 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 Hi Yay! Yay! Working. Hi -ya. Yay! Working. <laughs> Yay! Yay!